I attended the physics public lecture given by James Gorman, who is the former science editor for the New York Times and is now a current science writer and reporter. He has been at the New York Times for over 25 years. He also has a video series called Science Take um, and believes in the power of incorporating humor into presenting information, which was very evident in his lecture. He was also called and introduced as the chillest famous person. So pretty much all of the lecture was new information to me. James began introducing the topics he was speaking about by saying that he has done extensive research on how animals mate and procreate because the general public has a large curiosity for this topic. I learned some very interesting and random facts about animals. Uh, the first one being that male flies have three neurons that female flies don't, which explains their different urgent urges and reactions to the mating process. And number two, um, that hummingbirds have a super high metabolism um, because they switch between fat and sugar for fuel. So I learned a good deal also on the scientific writing process in general from the lecture. James emphasized that the most important scientific writing tool is to always understand your audience when and the audience's perspective while writing, especially when trying to present new information um, so that it comes across easily and understandably to a person with a non-science background. I also found it very interesting that James noted that uh, a large challenge that he has seen in his career in the intellectual world is what he called scientific illiteracy, um, pretty much meaning that people are not well-versed in understanding scientific reading, as he said. Um, and he said this can be addressed by his, quote, effective scientific writing tools like the one I mentioned earlier and using strategic humor while presenting information to keep readers engaged. So after the lecture, I watched a few of his science take videos online, which were pretty cool. And I watched a video that went more in depth on the metabolism of hummingbirds. And I learned that when hummingbirds are sleeping, they only burn 1 50th of the energy that they would burn while hovering because they're able to enter a super low metabolism state called torpor. So I thought that was really cool. But yeah, the lecture was really great overall, and he definitely is a person that I want to follow through the rest of his career.